Hi, my name is Deb Gron, and I am the Learning and Development Consultant for the Infrastructure and Cloud Services Group at Northwestern Mutual in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. One of the challenges as we move to the cloud is making sure that our engineers are up to speed and ready for what's next in the cloud. There are a few different ways that we are working to address this issue. One of the ways is by partnering with AWS to perform a learning needs analysis with all of our engineers. This is an awesome tool that goes in depth with each engineer. In the end, we get a great picture of where our engineers are on current technology. We can then compare that to our strategy for the next three to six months and determine what additional training may be needed in order to help our engineers implement that strategy. One of the tools from AWS that we use are the learning paths. The learning paths combine many different types of trainings, from videos to white papers to e-learning and even instructor-led training. By having all of our engineers complete the learning paths up to the instructor-led training, we know that all of our participants are on the same page so they can really hit the ground running and have an awesome instructor-led experience. Instructor-led training, though, also means that we need to measure how effective it is. I would recommend that before the training begins, you actually survey your participants. Find out what they're expecting to learn. Are their expectations in line with the course objectives? If not, you may need to rethink your audience. At the conclusion of the training, you then want to ask the participants, did you learn what you expected to learn? You also want to ask them when they expect to implement what they learned. You don't want to just focus on training your engineers for what you know is coming up, but make sure that they're exposed to the new things that are coming in the cloud. We recently ran multiple sessions of big data on AWS for our engineers. After the training, one group of engineers took what they learned and wrote a proposal of how they would implement the new ideas how it could make their lives better and therefore the lives of our customers. Measuring the effectiveness of learning doesn't end the week after the class. You also want to go back four to six months later and ask, so did you actually use what you learned? By performing a learning needs analysis every 12 to 18 months, you then have data that you can use to compare. By having those measurements in place of both your post-class surveys and your learning needs analysis, you can start to draw some lines between the increase in knowledge and the training that was performed. Another option that we use are the immersion days that are offered through our AWS partners. We recently had almost 300 engineers go through the serverless immersion day. This was run in conjunction with our internal cloud platform engineers and our AWS partners. Overall, the process of ensuring that your engineers are up to speed and ready to go the minute a project is approved is not an easy task. It takes a lot of coordination between your learning and development individuals and your architecture team. Anytime that you can mix together your learning and development professionals with your architecture team, then you have a better view of what's next. You can see where your engineers currently are and where you need them to be to be successful in the next six to 12 months. Thank you.